first bait, I think. It's pulling pretty hard. Might be a little too big for bait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God. That's not bait. That's not bait. I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. Now I serve as a guest guide at Los Buzos Resort, where I help kayak anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. You're watching Field Trips with Robert that Field. That is a fish, bro! Quantos tenemos? Cinco. Five kayaks, right? So, which three in this one? What is up, guys? Welcome back to Combutel, Panama, to Los Buzos Resort. The COVID quarantine has lifted. They've opened the country back up just three days ago. I got down here as fast as I could. We got a new group of clients, the first group of clients in six or seven months since Panama has been shut down. If you saw the last kind of bundle of videos from here, those were actually filmed in January of 2020, the last time I was here before quarantine. I kind of saved them for a rainy day, and I mean, 2020 has just been one big rainy day in my book. So we're back. We got a little lighter group than normal, which is actually gonna make our job a lot easier, but we're starting this thing off with a bang. So we got good weather today, it's looking beautiful. So we're gonna mothership half the clients to a place that we call Moro, or Wahoo Rock, it's about eight miles down the beach, down the coastline here to the east. It's got the potential to be absolutely incredibly epic. Basically comes up from 300 feet up to 30 feet. Billfish, giant roosters, kuberas, the yellowfin tuna should be loaded. All kinds of fish. It is wahoo season. Got a shot at that. We got Derek Cortez. We're gonna have an epic day today. Oh I yeah. Feel it. He's going out to the spot with me. Welcome to Panama, baby. Let's do it. So right now we're loading five kayaks into two pongas. We're gonna head down that way. And then Adam Fisk and our new guide Dakota are gonna stay out here and take the other group of clients right here in our front yard, which has incredible fishing as well. Got a little swell today. A little bit sportier launch than normal. We should be fine. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, but we gotta get going. We gotta launch and land based on the tides. We are on a timeline. I'll see you guys out in the water on the way to the spot. Woo! This place is epic. Could be a day we will never forget. Ready on three. One, two, two, three, go. You guys get it? Okay. Yep. One, go. It's a little heavier all of a sudden. Well, okay, yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Watch the motor. Good job, guys. Piece of cake. Did it. Yeah, that was piece of cake. Okay. Little Panamanian bilge pump. Seven miles out to the lump. It's an epic spot. The weather looks great. We actually got the sun shining through. It's a rainy season. Normally it's rainy, but it's looking prime today. Let's see what happens. Look at that. That's blue runners, huh? Wow, man. We got a little bait, boys. Este primero. En este lado, está bien. Yeah, okay. Tell me when you're ready, brother. Born ready, brother. Born ready, he said. You got it? Yeah, you got it? You got it? Hey, yellow kayak right here, is that Rudy? Over here, right in front of our ponga, bro, is a football field and a half of blue runners on the surface. I'd get your XPS jig out, throw it through there, rip it as fast as you can, 
like zero percent chance you won't bring a blue runner in put that out for bait and then you can pop or whatever but then you're fishing and i would keep that blue runner on your hook don't run through the middle of that school but kind of you circle it a little bit yours is going to look like the lone idiot easy meal you know what i'm saying roger that good luck but hey just look alive and keep your eyes up swell you know we got some big big waves coming through so just just stay vigilant pay attention to all you guys I'll be in the water here shortly and I come over and show you guys how I jig out here and stuff like that. But for right now, I'd go grab a bait. It should be automatic with that little baby jig. There you go. Hey, you lock and load it. That's ready. Fish finder, everything. Go catch some big ass fish. Is this runner down? Yeah, yeah. Good luck, man. I want to bless you. Look. Just careful, careful. Hey, you should get away from the boat. You should just yeah, pedal away and then, then mess with that stuff. Yeah, because we'll get pushed into you and... Yeah, at least though. Rudy, 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 copy? Fish on! Be dope. Watch it out, hook him up. On the fall flat jig! <laughs> Holy f***! Man, I'm not even in the water yet. We already got a client hooked up. All right, well, I haven't even gotten the kayak in the water yet. We already got a client hooked up. Who is that? Eric. Big Jack. Big Jack, all right. Nice. No, I'm not That's an Almaco Jack. No, it's an Almaco Jack, bro. Somebody bit the out of it, too. Pull it in the bo- Yeah. Dude, great Almaco, man. That's, that's dinner, boy. Almost ate it. That's Kubera, dude. Oh. Wow. Yo, you can use that for bait. Um, <laughs> I'm good. I'm not kidding. Kubera just tried to eat it. I know. I don't want to kill myself. If you don't want to, we'll take it home for dinner. All right. Eric from Arizona. New species checked off. First two minutes out here at the mothership spot. So this Almago Jack got smashed by a Kubera snapper while he was fighting it. Got the telltale teeth marks. That is textbook Kubera. And we were saying he could put it on for bait, and he kind of was like, eh, <laughs> I don't really want to kill myself. <laughs> but at Los Buzos, that's bait. But since it got bit, it's probably going to die. We're going to go ahead and keep it. They're also delicious to eat. They taste like grouper here. Fat ass on that ball flat. Yeah, dude. Thank you. Nice. Woo! Look at this. Look at that. Destroyed by a Kubera snapper. <laughs> this we call bait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good work, brother. Oh my god, that's f***ing gnarly. That's a Kubera, man. Luckily the current's not too bad. Oh man, Mike's on from Arizona? Damn, I'm never gonna get in the water at this rate. Yo quiero pescar también, amigo, come on. Oh yeah, Mike H. That's your pipe popper? From Arizona. Go, 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 go. Looks like something pretty good. You got him, buddy, you're doing perfect. Keep that rod forward just like that. Do it perfect. Woo! You still got your jig? Yeah. Oh man, yeah. popped off. Right, guys, the bait school's running over there. Go for it. Ooh, that was a good fish though. Holy f I'm hooked up too, man. Let's bring them in. Oh! Holy f No, dude! Holy f It's a shark, a big one! Hey, watch out, Mike! Get out of the way, Mike! Get out of the way! Turn right, turn right, Mike. Did it come off? Yeah, it came off. Holy! You got that on video? Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, that's not normal. Oh my god, gigantic shark just came out of the water doing corkscrews twice. Oh, Eric, who just got that alico, he just he just looked that. I mean, I still haven't got my kayak in the water. That was wild. We do not get many big sharks out here. That one was not happy to be hooked. That was crazy. I hope that came out on video, dude. That was gnarly. Creo que lo tengo en video. Yeah, yeah. That was like a six foot shark just jumped out of the water about 10 feet from me. 
Oh, I saw Jesus. Yeah, exactly. Lift it up so I can push it. Ready? Better rock, rock and roll, there you go. We got this guys, nice and easy. Woo, lightning kayak in the water. Ready to rock and roll, we got Robert Fields. He has not been able to launch because we have gone back to back to back action over here. Okay, let's make sure he doesn't miss his paddle. Let's do this. I'll give you your rods in just a second. Hold on to the boat. Whew, all right, well, pretty crazy morning. Pretty typical here at Los Buzos. So we finally made it to the spot. I finally got in the water. And then I, I wasn't, didn't have everything ready, didn't have the cameras ready, now I've drifted off like a uh, quarter mile. It looks a little squirrely out here. That is not, there's no wind. That is because of the currents out here. So this is a big pinnacle that comes up from like 200 something feet up to 30 feet deep. And uh, the currents just kind of swirl all around that. And that's what's making this water a little more turbulent here than really it should be for this wind. But that current is why this place is so epic and such good fishing. So. About to get over there, I'm probably going to try to stick a live bait real quick and then probably work the popper on the top around that big school of bait, assuming it's still there when I get back. Kind of double time a little bit, but bait should be automatic. And we're, we can catch anything out here. It is, this is just an epic, epic spot. And I mean that, I mean just trying to launch the kayaks, that gives you an idea. Got a little chaotic there. Whew. I'm worn out, I haven't even started fishing yet. It's going to be a good day. They got a big bait school over here. There we go. First bait, I think. Pulling pretty hard. Might be a little, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Might be a little too big for bait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. That's not bait. That's not bait. Got something bigger. Oh, I only have 20 pound leader. I can't horse this thing. Bro, I got something big on the XPS, bro. Oh! You want to come over here and pop? Got the last. Ah, came off. Man, that was something good. I bet I lost the hook. These hooks are too weak for a fish like that. Nope, just came off. Suggestions on how to get this off the bottom. Okay, guys. So Pierre and I are currently catching bait. You just got four in the live well. We got Rudy waiting up in line. We got four clients. We're gonna rattle this bait nice and neat. And get hooked up on a big fish. So this is how you bridle the bait, guys. Watch this, nice and quick, easy. This way your bait is gonna free swim freely. Have a good part of his hook exposed. Make a little dog leash for your fish. Your little pet, so you can go feed the pet bears we got over here. Now for this, we're gonna need a bridling needle. Passing over the hook, pre-spool it. You got a 13 knot circle hook. Feed it through just like that. Feed it through the eye of the needle, which is open. Grab a fresh live bait, just like this. Right through the eye socket. Needle away. Get some tension on the line, please. Yeah, so guys, when you're dropping your ticks down, you really need to be watching your line, and like the second it stops, you need to close the bail and get that thing up off the bottom. If you let it sit down there in this current, it's gonna- You guys, that's a perfectly rigged bait right there. Ready to go. 
Look, bud, get the swivel out. There you go, you're good. I learned that lesson the hard way. Okay, we got Rudy. He's gonna hook up on a monster fish. Go for it, bud. Hey, Eric, you're next in line, bud. I got a bait for you, too. bait for the clients and uh, doubled up right now looks like full service here at Los Buzos. <laughs> We're currently catching bait on the panga. Fuel's hooked up. Oh he just lost his. Let's see if I can land mine. Reel it in. Nice and easy. They get feisty. Let's see what we got. Oh perfect blue runner. Woo! Blue runner that's the candy that's what we're looking for. All right, Mike H here from Arizona, hooked up again. What's that on the jig? Nice. What is that? That's a different one. I think that's a white tuna, man. There you go. That's sweet, dude. Here we go, we got another live bait on. Hopefully it's a blue runner. Let's see what we got. We have Eric. Yeah, what's Heading towards the panga. Oh yeah, oh we got a bonita on over here. We got a bonita. You just gonna flick him in the boat. Money bait right there. Got a perfect hook exposure. Just like, ah, just like that. Okay, you gotta be careful. Okay bud, you're hitting rigged up and ready? Good luck, man. You wanna grab that from him? That's ready, ready to go. Here in a minute. Or he'll, he'll head towards you when he's got it. Okay bud, you ready to go? You gonna throw it on the other side, okay? Good luck, man. Okay, so I just made up a bridle for Mr. Robert Fields. Um, we're gonna hook him up with the live bait we just caught. What's up, bud? I got some candy for you. Bro, there's a lot of activity right over here. Yeah, Ciao. Got it, bud. We'll get him, man. Yeah, bro. Thanks, man. Just let it rip, man. You got this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we currently have Miles hooked up on a monster fish. He's been fighting for a while. He said it's a big fish. He's been pulling and tugging it around all over. Woo! Miles is hooked up big. Make sure we keep, he keeps tension on the fish. We're not sure what it is just yet. He had a boo runner out for bait. Let's see what he got. Get him, bud! Yeah! Oh, apparently he just lost it. That hurts. It's okay, we got more bait for you. You get another chance at it. Good job, man. Got Rudy over here, he just got a big run, but Came up empty, luckily his bait was still okay. So he's still in business. And this should be a pretty good spot. I don't know if you can see these palometas. See the little fins coming out of the water. There should be predators around. Yeah, you see the bait in between us? Like to your left, Rudy? They're coming up right there. Yep, to your right over here. Yeah, yeah, and I got more on my left too. There, this is a good area, man. My, my graph's pretty lit up. We got blue runners below us. Now it's just a waiting game. We're in a good spot. Oh, shoot. I got a rooster on at the boat. 
gap. Yeah. Rooster. That was so confusing. He was running at me. I couldn't figure out what was going on. Oh, but I finally came tight and he was thrashed on the surface. Look at that. My first rooster fish from the lightning kayak strike. This is my kayak company in case any of y'all didn't know. Oh, he's not a huge one. He's pretty good. Look at him jumping. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, so I designed this boat, the strike. I did not design it for offshore. This is our kind of all around lake, bays, rivers boat. We're out here in some pretty serious conditions out in the Pacific Ocean. She's handling it about as well as one could expect. And we got the first rooster fish on under the boat, peeling off line right now. There she goes. Yeah. Yeah, that was so confusing. I thought at first I was hung up and then all of a sudden it slacked. I didn't know what was going on. And I finally realized, here we go, that it was just running at me. And when I caught up, caught tied to it, she was close to the boat and still green. And it started taking off. Uh, but now landing this fish in these conditions is gonna be a little tricky. So with a fish like this, you always keep your rod tip to the front of the boat. I got a rooster fish next to the boat, bro. Hey guys, we just heard that Robert Field has a rooster fish on, so we're on our way with Captain Theo. He has a rooster fish on a lightning kayak and he will land it. I'm sure about that. Let's boost those baby! <sighs> but it can be easier said than done. Like right now, it's kind of spinning in circles. Oh, but I see her down there. Oh God, big one coming through, big set. And she's pulling at the same time. Sketch factor 11. Welcome back to Los Buzos, baby. Oh my God, local, freaking nuts. We promised these guys some fish out here. We did not promise they would come quietly or that it would be easy. Oh yeah, I got color, ah, but he ain't done. She ain't done. Rooster fish, the only fish I've tattooed on my body. They are, I would say my favorite fish on the planet. It's so strong. This is not even a very big one. Oh, but she's, she ain't bad either. Oh, she ain't bad at all. Oh. all right. Tranquilo, amiga. I'm gonna get you out of here. We're gonna let you go. Look at that. All right. Now, it's always a good idea next to the boat to lighten your drag. So if she does that, takes off right next to the boat, she doesn't have a bunch of levers to flip you. Gallo! Oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. All right. Oh. Okay, so we have Robert Field over here Yee! with a beautiful rooster fish. <laughs> he had his blue runner out. Yeah. Just landed his first rooster fish on lightning kayak at Los Buzos Panama. Oh Ooh. yeah, baby. All day. <laughs> beautiful rooster fish. <laughs> oh, first rooster fish from the lightning strike. Epic. Oh, what a battle. There she goes. <laughs> These are some gnarly conditions. We don't normally have conditions like this, but basically we got big swell this week. It's kind of like a super moon, so big tides. And it's creating all this chop, and then we just got enough wind right now that it's making it extra sloppy. But all this crazy moving water is why these fish are here. And it's been pretty hot and heavy. 
And there was the first rooster fish of the trip, I believe. <coughs> Gotta eat some water. Whew! Crazy day out here so far. Lord have mercy. Oh my God, that was close. That was a sketchy one broke right on my, on my stern. Copy, I'm hooked up right now. Okay, I need Call a kayak and why not? Uh, west of you guys, next to Mike, blue, red kayak. Hey guys, we currently have a fish on situation. He had a big bite. He lost it. He thought he had pulled the hook, but now he just dropped it right back down and he has a fish on right in towards him. Conditions are pretty rough. We have a good swell. So we're making our way. Welcome to Los Busos. Ah! Ah! Good job, bud. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Blue fin trevally. Ah! Yeah! He was barely hooked. Trevally for Eric. Good job, bud. Hand them over. I lost him. I can help because he doesn't speak English. guys so conditions are gnarly a couple of the clients are, are over it over fighting it I don't blame them so I just hopped up here in the pond with Adriano because he doesn't speak English and uh, that way we can kind of help these guys out a little bit more there's two guys still want to kayak fish but we're gonna do a little fishing from the boat here give Mike here from Arizona a little break a little different from the rivers he normally bass fishes I think hey yeah we're all worn out Um, oh god, in the face. Okay guys, we just heard Eric over here with the fish on. He says he's a bluefin trevally. He caught one earlier today. He let that one go. Let's see what we're gonna do with this one. All right, got Eric here. From Arizona, looks like he's got a bluefin trevally, he says, and the boat, got it on the jig. 
Here, come pick it up, bro. Yeah! Nice! Beauty! Three Valley, you see? Azul! Beauty, dude. That's a good one, man. Uh, that's a good one. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Nicely done, bro. Wow, that's a beauty, man. Nicely done, yeah. Oh. Hey, buddy. What's up, buddy? Need a ride? Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go, man. Uh, sure. Yep. Yeah, but can you hold on to this? I see. Um, can you come? Can you come hold this? Yes. Like kind of basically, basically straight. Just don't twist it. You know what I'm saying? Don't twist it. We're just trying to stay in these waves. Yeah. Cuidado con gas. Can you ask him to grab the bottle of the agua? I got it. I got it. Mira, soy un capitan, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> capitan Roberto. <laughs> Been going home with some stories to tell, bro. Hey. Nice. Rudy win. Man, my wow, boat, that's a God. bay. Riverboat. <laughs> like, my kayak is not made for this at all. Just got back. It is raining. Good old Panama. Beautiful day for a paddle. <laughs> Call it the rainy season for no reason. I don't know why it's so windy, but I know why it's raining. Derek Cortez cleaning oh, yeah. the fish. Doing my job. Look at this. Bluefin Chervali. Boila or Almaco Jack. Tonight, it's got fish two ways, some sides. Who even cares? This fish looks amazing. It smells amazing too. It's gonna be good. We got Almaco Jack, Sierra Mackerel, and Bluefin Trevally that we got two ways, broiled, I guess. I don't know, but it looks amazing. I'm about to dig in. This is the Bluefin Trevally. like a garlic butter lemon sauce. That's why it browns so much. Yeah. Because it's a little stronger fish heavier. This is the mackerel. I think there may be one piece of that on here. This mackerel? is just cooked very lightly. You mean that white tuna? No, it's that Sierra mackerel y'all call the first day. Okay. It's a really good fish. Try some of this fish. Oh, man. This Alma Gojek air cut. It's so tender, man. Oh, oh yeah. Got in-house made flan for dessert, courtesy of Yanni, head chef here at Los Buzos. It's gonna be good. I love flan. She makes a good one, I hear. I haven't had it. Oh, God. That's good. I like that. I can eat like nine of these in yeah. the servings. Too Incredible. Well, guys, what a crazy start to this week of field trips. Took the motherships down to Moro. That place is just absolutely legendary. You never know what's going to happen down there. Right away, we got giant sharks flying out of the water. Lots of good fish caught. The wind was gnarly, 
which is just unusual for the rainy season, but weather's weather, it's gonna do what it wants. We got it done, I got the nice rooster fish finish. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow, Mother Nature pays us back with some more normal, calmer conditions, but if not, best part is these clients seem just down to send it. So that's what we'll do. But for now, guys, that's all I got for you today, this week. I'm exhausted. That dinner got me, um, it's about bed 30. It's like nine o'clock now. But I'm worn out. We'll be back at it again early in the morning. I'll see you guys next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to come out here and join me, join us and do this, go fishing from the kayak out here in the Pacific for some of the most epic fish on the planet. You can do that. Go to Los Buzos. Dot com, losbuzos.com has got all the information you need to plan a trip from pricing, what you catch when, how it works, anything you need to know, losbuzos.com. If you want to come on my weeks, you can just request that when you go to sign up, plan your trip, ask for the Robert Field, the Field Trips Weeks. There's lots more Field Trips Panama coming up next. Till then, guys, that's it. Going to bed. Adios. Ciao. Ugh.